What's going on, doll fans? It is your boy Dylan, and I got some updates for you, or an update. Um, it's an interesting update uh, to this whole, you know, battle of what's going on with the coronavirus and how the NFL is planning to, you know, open despite the surging cases, blah blah blah, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera, right? And so, you know, we already know a little bit about uh, how the NFL PA has voted, right? The uh, the players have voted against a preseason and, um, you know, whatever. So there has been, um, you know, and then there have been like coaches like, you know, Harbaugh, uh, John Harbaugh, who have spoken up against or out against, you know, their plans saying that they're going to be, you know, inadequate, et cetera, et cetera. So there are definitely players and coaches who disagree with this situation. And then, of course, you have the NFL on, and the owners on the other side who are pushing, uh, as much and as hard as they possibly can not only to open the season on time but also make sure that there are fans in the stadiums and that they can maximize their profits as much as absolutely possible but there is an interesting um, development today and I'm gonna read you two different articles on the exact same thing because I want you guys to see the difference in framing here so I have one article from ESPN staff writer Kevin Seifert, and then I have uh, one article from Yahoo Sports writer Frank Schwab. So we're, they're both short, uh, but we're going to start with the ESPN one, Kevin Seifert's article. NFL PA President J.C. Treader at odds with league over coronavirus plan. Okay, so apparently he's at odds with the league, with the all-powerful league right he's at odds with them um and so real quick jc treader is the center for the browns and he is obviously a player but he's the you know uh the president as you know voted in um i believe by the players i think the players voted him as the the guy uh, i believe I, I believe that's how that's that's handled uh correct me if i'm wrong anyway Let's get into this, though. NFL Players Association President J.C. Treader escalated a, dis a disagreement Tuesday with the NFL over the terms of training camp in the preseason amid the coronavirus pandemic. He escalated a disagreement. Um, I mean, I would just say he's voicing his opinions, one, and two, raising very legitimate concerns. So I think you can get the idea already that this guy, Kevin Seifer, is framing it as if you know, J.C. Treader is really just being this, you know, uh, just loud voice that's trying to cause trouble, right? With the way that he's framing it, writing in a blog post that he uh, that the league is unwilling, and this is this part is the quote from Treader is unwilling to prioritize player safety and believes that the virus will bend to football, and he's absolutely right about that, right? So. They're not play, uh, prioritizing player safety, not even close. Uh, if they were, they just wouldn't have a season to begin with, and they would just pay their fucking players, right? Instead, they are doing absolutely everything to push for an exceptionally risky undertaking of, of having a season and bringing all these guys together, especially when the bubbles are not working in other sports, etc., etc. And we already have cases in the NFL you then have them doing things like making sure that they have to fucking sign waivers so if they get sick or whatever blah 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 they don't have to be held responsible for that and you know they're finding ways to cut the pay of the players asking them to take pay cuts cutting the roster sizes right so they're doing all kinds of things to fuck the players along their way on the, along the way and that's probably part of what's pissing them off which is absolutely understandable and so he's raising these concerns because they are not prioritizing player safety and he says that they believe the virus will bend to football which is an absurd thing to think just on its face why would anybody think that some virus is gonna bend to human fucking will like really it's just gonna bend to our will we're just gonna say no you don't exist or no you know face masks aren't needed or no we can go on having a professional football season with packed stadiums or at least you know a some percentage of, of stadiums uh, fans in the stadiums and we're not gonna have outbreaks that's not how this thing works 
That's, it's not even close to how this thing works. That's an absurd thing to think, right? So either these people in the NFL are morons or more likely they just actually don't really give a shit because at the end of the day, all they care about is making sure that their money continues to flow and that their business machine keeps rolling, right? As we've, of course, discussed. The NFL solidified plans last week to cut the 2020 preseason in half from four games to two games and created 23-day acclimatization uh, period in training camp to account for the likelihood that players will report to training camp less prepared for football after an, after an entirely virtual offseason program. The NFL PA objected privately to that plan, which the NFL has not announced publicly, and its board of player representatives voted last week to endorse a plan with no preseason games. Treader's blog post pushed the issue into public view with new details. He wrote that the NFL and NFL PA's joint coronavirus task force agreed to a 48-day training camp without preseason games, partially in response to the surge of Achilles tendon and hamstring injuries that occurred the season after the league's 2011 lockout similarly wiped out the offseason program. But see, and, and just as a side note, those things are important to to keep in the conversation is, is you know, how far behind the all of these guys are uh, physically, in their playbooks, all of that stuff, right? In their schemes and so on and so forth. Obviously, chemistry. Look, I'm just, this is a, a, a side, note, side note to a side note, but if they play a season, I absolutely guarantee that the Dolphins are going to be trash. 100% trash. I don't care how good Tua is or how good any of these guys could be. I have my concerns. A lot of them have injury histories. I think a lot of these guys were reaches, both from last year's draft and this year's draft. Last year's draft is, you know, tr was trash in their first year as an entire class, uh, you know, to start with. But they don't have any chemistry. None. They're not going to have, like, they're going to have zero chemistry. That offensive line is going to be a fucking hot mess and whoever's back there is going to get their face smashed in so uh anyway that's a massive side note but going uh digressing a bit going back to it's important to keep all those other things how far behind the players are going to be etc etc that injuries could happen a lot more which is absolutely the case according to treader the nfl and that is that is part of it the nfl is not provide but again though logically then okay you cancel training camp you cancel the preseason just cancel the fucking season none of it makes any fucking sense just get there and do the right thing that's the right thing according to treader the nfl has not provided a medical reason for insisting on two preseason games a source said last week that the nfl felt it needed to have some preseason games to evaluate rosters as well as to give teams practice under new pandemic related travel protocols <sighs> I mean, whatever. Anyway, every decision this year that prior prioritizes normalcy over innovation, custom over science, or even football over health significantly reduces our chances of, of completing the full season, Treader wrote. And he's 100% right about that. Let me read that again. Every decision this year that prioritizes normalcy over innovation, custom over science, or even football over health significantly reduces our chances of completing the full season not only that but they're gonna get people killed they will lose coaches and 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 you know especially the coaching stabs are gonna get hit even harder because they're older and unfortunately it does affect older people more I mean it affects everybody and certainly can kill young people too but it and they might have players that die but I mean this thing is not going to be pretty. It's not going to be fun. There's not going to be anything good about it except for for the, the people at the top who are raking in the fucking money and seeing the profits. The NFL declined comment. Of course they did. It had previously proposed a mid-July start to training camp to accommodate the NFLPA's request for a long acclimatization period, but the union rejected that offer. Training camps around the league will open July 28th for most players. The league last week gave teams a partial list of testing protocols and travel requirements for training camp and presumptive preseason games, but it has not completed its plan for regular season implementation. We don't want to merely return to work and have the season shut down before we even get started, Treader wrote. The NFL 
NFLPA will do its part to advocate for player safety. We will continue to hold the NFL accountable and demand that the league use data science and the recommendations of its own medical experts to make decisions. It has been clear for months that we need to find a way to fit football inside the world of coronavirus. Making decisions outside that lens is both dangerous and irresponsible. So, I will... Um, tweak that just a little bit it's not really a disagreement because eventually you know i mean even once we get this under control and eventually do get a vaccine it's likely that it won't just go away but it could be you know and it could still come around occasionally uh but it could be at that point more flu-like Right, because then we'd have a vaccine and actual treatments and stuff like that. The death rate wouldn't be outrageous. Uh, you know, right now it's about four percent, a little over four percent in America. But I guarantee you, those numbers are absolutely inaccurate, and it's at least double than uh, double that when you take into account how they're, you know, actively suppressing the numbers, etc. Um, but some countries have 10 14 15 percent this thing is deadly as fuck maybe one day it'll be there but it's not there now and so my point is 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 that the way you fit football into coronavirus because it goes to what he said earlier about they feel as if coronavirus is going to bend to football that's absurd that's an absurd thing to think right um it's not and it's proving not, right? Because all these places that are opening way too early, the entire country, including states like California, open too early. Uh, it's rearing its head and in a very, uh, I mean, it never went away. The first wave never went away. It just intensified again because people think that they can go out there and they can resume normal life, quote unquote, normal life, and that everything's gonna be all fine and that they're just somehow magically going to avoid uh, this virus. That's not the case. So the way to adapt football at least this year is to shut it down completely. There is no safe and responsible way to do it without uh, shutting it down. All right. Now, just real quick, let me get into the other one because I just want to uh, show you some differences in framing here. So the NFL PA president, JC Treader, continues to push NFL on coronavirus protocols, including canceling preseason. So real quick, uh, I'm not really going to um, get too far into this because most of it's just going to be repetitive. But right there, this is Frank Schwab from Yahoo Sports. Already the title is, uh, you know, way less uh, aggressive, right? So NFLPA president J.C. Treader continues to put push NFL on coronavirus protocols, including canceling preseason. Whereas in the other headline, it was NFLPA president J.C. Treader at odds with league over coronavirus. And then he goes on to say how he escalated a disagreement, blah, 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 um, whatever, right? And then one or two other things. And then, but here in this other one, uh, Frank Schwab starts out with Cleveland Browns center J.C. Treader isn't a household name to most NFL fans, but he might become one before the end of the year. Treader's the NFLPA's president, and he has not been shy about speaking out about player safety as they return to work during the coronavirus pandemic. Frames it way different. Doesn't frame, first of all, uh, Treader as if he's being this, you know, aggressor that's escalating some kind of conflict, whereas... Uh, in Schwab's, he's saying that he's, you know, just not shy about speaking up about things that he is very justifiably speak, uh, should justifiably speak up about, especially considering he is the president of the NFLPA, a, a person in a position to do that. Uh, and it's all about, you know, it's, it's, he's literally just doing his job, right? Anyway, so I, the reason, the only real reason why I mentioned that is because I mean, as does a lot of things, a big portion of the problem is the media. And, you know, I've mentioned it a, a few times recently about how, you know, the media keeps playing into this, the narrative of the NFL that, oh, everything's going to be fine and trying to convince people that that is the case. I guarantee you that is not the case. Everything is not going to be fine. And the more that they go through with their reopening plan, um, the worse it's going to be. So I'm going to leave it there. Watch my previous videos if you want more in-depth, uh, you know, 
discussion about exactly what I think will happen uh, if they, you know, open or, you know, whatnot and what I think my ultimate prediction is going to be. Um, but with that, I'm going to go ahead and get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button, make sure you hit the like button, make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comment section. And of course, as always, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartero. And with that, I am out. I'll see y'all soon. Fins up.